Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's top 10 is going to be a little spicy. We're gonna be talking about my top 10 most seductive fragrances in my collection. Fragrances that make the ladies absolutely melt, very masculine, very sexy and attractive. Perfect fragrances for a very sultry, hot date night, or just something to wear if you really want to impress your lady and really turn her on. So we're going to go ahead and start off the list with one of my all-time favorite men's fragrances. We have Haltain by Parfum de Marly. Now this is the definition of sexy and alluring. It's woody and oody with this really fresh lavender. It's a little bit spiced from saffron. It gives it a dryness. I mean, you're gonna get this kind of dry vibe from the oud in this, but the saffron just kind of pushes that like dry texture even further. Very classic, very fresh, like lovely lavender and clary sage. The clary sage in this, it kind of gives it like a traditional feel, but also gives it a big push of masculinity and wearability as well. But where this fragrance gets very seductive and sexy is it's sweetened up with a really nice kind of semi-gourmand praline note. Really balances out the entire scent profile and in my opinion makes it the number one in this scent category, in this kind of like beginner friendly oud scent category. But yes, that praline brings all the sex appeal to this, especially combined with these kind of more exotic, darker notes. The sweetness adds a really nice sexiness to this otherwise very refined dressy scent. It is so attractive and it is the best parfum de Marly by far in every way in my opinion. <laughs> Haltain by Parfum de Marly. So next up we have the designer king of seduction and that is La Nuit de L'Homme by YSL. All about cardamom and lavender in this fragrance. This was released in 2009 and it is still one of the best designer scents that you can wear today. It is a revolutionary blend that really changed the direction of the designer world in its time. And it's still killing the ladies today in 2024. It is just so appealing. It's just one of those scents that you smell and you fall in love. And it's still a lady killer today. The lavender in La Nuit de L'Homme is extremely aromatic. It's not going in like a soapy or powdery direction. It's just bright. And this fragrance is all about that very sensual cardamom. It's really the type of scent that just draws you in and makes you come back for more. It really has this kind of like hypnotic effect on people. It's like a very, just like it makes you drool. Like it's just delicious and very, very, very sexy seductive on a man. And the best part is that you can find it for very, very cheap on discounters since it has been around for so long. So freaking sexy and very romantic as well. An absolute staple and icon, La Nuit de L'Homme by YSL. So next up we have Attraction Fatale by Reisiger Parfums. Now this is going to be a fragrance for a very bold man, very dominant, very confident, extremely, extremely boozy. And what I've noticed with my bottle is that as the time has gone on, it's even getting boozier. Like every time I smell it, I'm getting more of a hit of this like very dark whiskey mixed with rose and neroli. The floral aspect in Attraction Fatale is pretty minimal in my opinion. It is there. And I think that what it really does is it just adds like kind of softens up those darker notes a little bit. In the base, it's very, very woody, a little vanillic. You're going to get a big dose of sandalwood and cedarwood with nutmeg and black pepper. And I really like how this spice is done in this because it kind of gives it a traditional feel with that nutmeg, like something from the past, but done very modern. And I think that that is really what is so seductive and sexy about this scent is the spice. But also that booziness is undeniable. Like there's just something about boozy fragrances that are ultra attractive, especially in the nighttime for a date. But the way that the spices are done, that nutmeg and that pepper, 
It just smells to me like the type of man, like you're going to give off the vibe that you're the type of guy that can just take control, take care of things, that you don't have to worry about anything, and you can trust your man to make those big decisions. And there is nothing, nothing sexier than that. A little bit of a mature spice, but in a very like grown, sexy man type of way. And you get extremely high quality oils in this fragrance. This is done by Christian Carbonell. And if you know, you know he does the absolute best of the best work in perfumery today. It is a boozy, woody, sexy, sexy masterpiece. If you love boozy, woody, darker scents, I know that people are a little polarizing with this on the reviews online, but it's just because people love to hate on content creators, but you cannot deny that the scent is absolutely killer good. And for those that say this smells like spice bomb, trust me, they're absolutely insane. Like I'm almost tempted to just do a full video side-by-side -side comparison of spice bomb and attraction fatal because no, just no. One of the best just straight up dark whiskey woody scents available today that's done in a very elegant way. I think it's very sexy. Attraction Vital from Rise Girl Parfums. So we have a newer addition to my collection. This is Azaro, the most wanted Eau de Parfum Intense, the all black bottle. This is a very simple scent, but it's one of those simple scents that are just insanely impressive. I don't know why when I smell this, to me it just smells like a very well-dressed, like very stylish man, very put together. And this is another scent that is going to be all about cardamom. It's actually pretty similar to me how the cardamom is done in here with L'Enui de Lome. Like there's definitely some sort of inspiration with the use of cardamom. They do not smell the same. Don't get that in your head either. This doesn't have lavender, doesn't have a lot of those notes that are in L'Enui de Lome. Like I said, this is a very simple scent. The notes are cardamom, toffee, and amber wood. So it's going to be all about this very sensual, sexy cardamom mixed with this very like delicious semi-gourmand toffee with a woody base. And it's almost kind of like that cardamom and toffee. They're really like holding hands in this scent. Like they're kind of equally done. It's a very like heady combination. There's something so sexy about this. But that woodiness in the base brings a little bit of depth and warmth to the scent. Crazy, crazy seduction for a date night. It's kind of steamy in a way. I don't know. Like it makes you blush when you smell it. And the most wanted line is so good. There's so many fragrances in this line that are just fantastic. You guys know that I've been really loving the Eau de Toilette Intense for more of like a summer scent, but this is also killer, killer good. This is a type of scent that just has sex appeal. This is a very like sex in a bottle type of cologne for a guy. Wear it on your next night out and thank me later. Azaro, the most wanted Eau de Parfum Intense. So next we have another holy grail fragrance of mine, Hamza Smash by Supers Budapest. Now I truly, truly believe that every man should own at least one Supers fragrance to have in their collection and Smesh, as you know, is my absolute number one. This is just a fragrance that, uh, when I smelled it for the first time, I just, I knew. This was instantly going to become one of my top for life, something that I need to smell around me or that I want to smell around me all the time. I always say it, to me, this smells like the most perfect, refined gentleman. But with a naughty side, it's so complex and appealing. There's so many facets to this fragrance that you unveil through the life of it. And what I really love about it is that it features one of my, well, if not my number one note in all of perfumery, which is cashmere. You get a heavy dose of this very luxe, very smooth cashmere and smash, just really, elevates the scent and takes it to the next level in terms of quality. But this is very exotic and it has this kind of mysterious, sexy flair to like a very modern fougere vibe. You get this really bright citric blood orange mixed with neroli and the neroli in this gives it a little bit of a classic feel but makes it also very elegant. With these very deep spices in cashmere and the spices in this is what's going to make it feel very, very exotic. And in the dry down you get this really, really beautiful, manly, very masculine kind of 
earthy, sweet base. You're gonna get some vanilla and tonka bean in the base. This also has lavender in it as well. With vetiver and moss, it gives it this really nice earthiness. And there's something about the structure of this fragrance that I realized that really reminds me of Naxos from Zerzhov. It's not a copy, it doesn't, it doesn't smell like Naxos, but it gives me the vibe of it, just in terms of how the fragrance is structured and how the fragrance dries and kind of unveils itself. Because with the opening of Smash, you get this really nice fougere opening, like this really nice kind of, it's classic, but it's also very modern feeling. A lot of modern nuances in the scent, but as it dries, it kind of turns into this kind of semi-gourmand fragrance with this really nice dry down. And that's kind of the vibe that I get with Naxos as well. And this fragrance is so versatile. You can wear this for absolutely any season, any time. It is a 10 out of 10 fragrance for around $100. The performance is absolutely amazing. A total standout. The sillage on this is, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that could be a whole other video in itself. It's like, fragrances that leave a very sexy sillage, this would probably be number one, honestly. It's a no brainer for the quality that you're getting. And I wanted to mention also that you can sample Super's Budapest now over on Scent Split. And I always recommend sampling first and Scent Split does have a pretty wide variety of Super's fragrances. Not all of them, but they do have a lot of them. So I will leave that linked in the description below if you're interested in trying. Ah, so I can't get over it. I feel like I'm seducing myself talking about it. So there's not a sexier dessert on the planet than tiramisu. And there's nothing more that women love to smell in a man than a nice, sweet, semi-edible fragrance. So for that, I would recommend Salvatore Ferragamo Uomo Eau de Toilette. And for around $30 to $40, this is a killer staple. I feel like Salvatore Ferragamo is such an underrated house in general. There are so many gems from them. Like you really can't go wrong with any of their fragrances and they are so affordable. Like if you are shopping on a budget, this is the house that you should be looking into. Not Nautica Voyage, not Explorer, none of that stuff. Look into Salvatore Ferragamo. And what they do that I really like, that I've seen a lot of their fragrances is that they use coffee. This smells like a very spicy, manly tiramisu mixed with cardamom. You get this really nice, like creamy, not necessarily milky, but a very creamy, sweet vibe in here mixed with like this kind of not bitter, but it's definitely like a black coffee. But dusted on top of that, like a really nice kind of powdered cacao. You really get that texture in this scent and it does come off very like coffee, chocolatey, very sweet but in a very masculine way. Woody in the base, it's mixed with sandalwood, and this also has cashmere wood that makes it feel very smoothed out. And it has Ambroxan as well, that's going to help give it a little bit of push on performance. This is an eau de toilette. It is going to feel a little bit lighter, but it's so unique to smell this on a man and very seductive at the same time. It is the type of scent that makes women want to eat you. And who doesn't want that? <laughs> Great Cheapy Uomo Eau de Toilette by Salvatore Ferragamo. So next up we have the opposite of a Cheapy, but it's one of those fragrances that are just worth every single penny. This is Blonde Amber by Clive Christian. It is an absolute icon in the fragrance community and a must have for true seduction. It is a complex, very artistic, show-stopping masterpiece. This is an absolute masterpiece. It is resinous and spicy and smooth with this very realistic kind of like date, kind of plummy dried fruit vibe, which I, I absolutely adore. It gives it this kind of like exotic, Middle Eastern touch, but oh my gosh, you guys, in the most elegant, rich way possible. It is so attractive, dark and mysterious. And this fragrance is mixed with some very sophisticated and dressy floral scents. It's going to help elevate this scent. It's one of those very dark, mysterious scents. It feels very rich and very upper class. And you get this really nice, vibrant, vibrant, bitter orange that really balances out the dark side. I don't know about you, but I love it when fragrances use a nice bitter orange note to kind of cut the fragrance, you know? Like it's something a little bit different than just a classic like citrus or orange note. I like 
the usage of bitter orange, especially in like semi-gourmand, like deeper, more complex fragrances. I think it's really beautiful. It's really incredible how it balances with that dried fruit note. And you get this very soft kind of white tobacco, and it's not going to really feel too tobacco-ish. It's just going to help kind of bump up the spiciness of the scent in the background. This is very boozy as well. Mostly with this, I get a lot of booze, like a very smooth booze with this dried fruit note, bitter orange, resins and vanilla. It is so hot. It just makes you drool. Like it makes you want to pounce. Extreme quality blends from Clive Christian. If you know, you know, blonde amber. It's so good. It's gonna cost you three months paycheck, but it's worth it. <laughs> so next up we have another fragrance from YSL. This is Myself. And this is a fragrance that has been absolutely killing it dominating in the designer world. And it's a very romantic fragrance too. This is another one that's pretty simple. The note breakdown is going to be bergamot, orange blossom, amber fix, and patchouli. And this is one that really, really grew on me and became one of my favorites. It's very simplistic, but it's put together perfectly. Very, very well put together. Easy to wear. And what I like about it is that that orange blossom note in here, it really makes it different than other designer scents. Forget Dior Sauvage, that's old news. It absolutely sucks. Get this instead. I feel like YSL has really set the stage in the designer world and makes some of the best designer men's fragrances out there and for women as well. Like I said, absolutely dominating. And you'll be dominating too if you wear myself. One of the most magical and enticing and classy combos that you can wear is Rose and Oud. I personally feel that there's nothing that screams class or status more than a perfectly done Rose Oud fragrance. And Roja Amber Oud is the epitome. It is the number one, it is the king, it is the Rolls Royce of all Rose Oud fragrances. It's just that Roja Dove has this kind of like magical touch when it comes to working with Rose fragrances. Just constructing the best complex fragrances, rose fragrances. He has this very classic signature way of dealing with rose de mai. It's very noticeable as a DNA throughout Roja fragrances and it is here as well. So complex and so multifaceted. It's citrusy in the top with that famous, famous, famous rose de mai mixed with a really beautiful kind of green, but also kind of creamy fig notes. It has ylang ylang and jasmine, which is also a very like classic combination found in Roja fragrances. Saffron and cinnamon makes it very sexy and enticing. And you get this very, hear me out, you get this very sexy kind of subtle civet note. Now, it's not going to come across as like a typical kind of animalic note, but it just adds something in here that just makes you addicted to it. It makes you wanna come back and keep smelling it over and over and over again. If you wear this on a date, I promise you the woman that you're with is not going to be able to get her nose off of your shoulder. It's almost like this kind of very subtle animalic tone just adds this very strong pheromone effect. Like a love spell in a way. It's like one of those scents like, it will literally make people fall in love with you. It's almost like you don't even know what it is that you're exactly smelling, but it just, it makes you want more. You get this creamy orris root and patchouli and oak moss. It is one of the most beautiful fragrances on earth. Seductive is an absolute understatement. Amber Oud from Roja. So we have to wrap up the video with my number one perfume of all time, Via Cavour One by Zerjoff. Now this is going to be seduction done in a super romantic, Casanova, kind of James Bond, gentlemanly type of way. It is a very, just charming scent. Semi-gourmand, but very, very wearable and enjoyable. And it's really, unlike anything else, so unique to smell this type of scent profile on a man. And just to wear this, honestly, it's an honor. You get fruitiness from quince and white peach. It's like a very fuzzy kind of white peach note in here. Like the skin of the peach gives it this really nice velvety feel mixed with dark chocolate and a patchouli note as well that is very dominant in the scent, but it adds to the chocolatiness of the scent. It's definitely like a really nice chocolatey, very slightly green patchouli. Has this strawberry vibe with rose, it makes it elegant. And most importantly, 
cashmere. This is a key element to this fragrance. The luxury and the sophistication of Vieux Cavour One is the cashmere. And you get some sweetness in the base from caramel and vanilla with some amber and musk. It is absolutely heavenly. One of the most romantic and sexiest fragrances to smell on a man ever, which is why it's my all time number one fragrance for men and for women. And it will never change because this fragrance is just so special and so good. And you can also sample this over on Twisted Lily. Buy this if you want to smell unique, charming, very charismatic and ultra seductive and sensual. It is an otherworldly experience, in my opinion. My number one perfume of all time, and the king and queen of seduction, Via Cavour One. Because that was just my top 10 fragrances of my most seductive fragrances in my collection. Fragrances that I recommend to you if you want to impress people, especially the ladies. If you want to come off very charming, very sexy, and very classy. These are all amazing options and they will all be linked in the description below with some discount codes and some places for you to try samples if you're interested. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment below. What is your most seductive fragrance? I would love to know what you think. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.